Good morning, Pauline. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm back here. <laughs> Tell us something interesting about yourself. This is the third time that I'm doing this. I think that's pretty interesting. I'm also a free diver, and that has led me to become an advocate for marine conservation. But I'm also now an advocate for body positivity and self-love. My previous journeys, I've really received a lot of bashing when it comes to my body. But I've learned, I've grown, and I love myself more for it now. What makes someone influential in this day and age amidst this shallow social media noise? I think it's being relatable. I think it's very important that people can still relate to your journey, that people can still relate to your story, and draw strength from that too. And I think that is a very important part of being influential and being a transformational leader too. How do you balance cultural and traditional values with modern day aspirations? And what advice would you give to other young Filipinas navigating this challenge? My mom is actually the one that balances that for me. She's a very conservative, typical Filipina. So she always tells me, no, you can't do that because, you know, we're Filipinas. We have to be more patient. We have to, you can't dress like Hubadera, <laughs> stuff like that. So it's actually really my mom that helps me balance all those different values.